So at the end of it, I could barely find the place. All I had to go on was an old ass map that I received back in the mail in the 90s. And it was a promotional item that I sent out to the people who recently visited Disney World. And I guess since I had visited it in the late 80s, that was a recent. It didn't really intend to hang, hang on to it. It just got shoved into my old books and comic books of my childhood. I only remembered it months into my research. And even then, I took another few weeks to locate the storage bin where my parents shoved everything into it. But I did find it. Locations were no help. As most were transplants who have just moved to the beach in the recent years or the old residents that just snarled at me when the rude gestures the second I managed to say were what I find Mowgli's. The drive took me through an indigenous location, corridors, outgrown, overgrown, tropical plants that had run rampant and overpopulated the area, extreme by native species of flora that actually belongs where and had tried to reclaim the land. I was in awe when I reached the front gates of the resort. Tremendous, mechanic wood gates whose support to either side looked like they must have been cut down from giant sequoia plants. The gate itself had been gouged in several places by woodpeckers and eaten away by bugs bur burrowing into it. Hanging on to the gate was a sheet, a sheet of metal, some scrapped in handwritten letters, craved in black, abandoned by Disney. Clearly a handiwork from past local or employee that wanted to have a small protest. The gates open enough, just for enough to I could walk through, but not drive. So I grab my digital camera and the map whose flip side shown the layout of the resort. I set up on foot. The inner grounds of the palace were just overgrown as the entryway. Palm trees stood unattended and rags among piles of their own coconuts. Banana plants similarly stood in their own stinking bug riddle feast there was such a clash between order and chaos as carefully planted rows of palm leaf flowers mixed with the obvious tall weeds and stink blackened mushrooms all that remained were any outdoor statues were broken rotting wood and various Chatter bits of unfathomable material. What was mostly likely any information booth or outdoor bar was now simply a pile of absorbed debris chopped up by vandals and revenge by the weather. The most interesting thing on the ground was a statue of Boo, the friendly bear from Jungle Book, which stood sort of in a courtyard in front of the main building he was frozen in a javital wave towards no one staring into an empty space with silly toothless grin as bird shit covered his whole swarth of his fur and vines ensure the his platform i approached the main building the palace only to find outside of the building covered in graffiti the original paint had peeled and chipped away the front doors were weren't just open they had been taken off their hinges and were stolen I above the front doors or gaping mall where they had been someone once again painted abandoned by Disney it was 
I wish I could tell you how awesome stuff I found inside the palace. Forgotten statues, abandoned cash registers filled with secret society of of homeless bums, but no. Instead of the buildings was so stark, so bare that I actually think people had stolen the molding off the walls. Anything that wasn't too big to steal, counter, desk tops, giant fake trees, they were all resting unmaimed as empty echoes chambers that amplified my every step like a slow rat attack of a machine gun. I checked the floor plan and headed towards the location that might seem way interesting. The kitchen was, as you imagine, industrial food prepared with all appliances and no space, no spence spared. Every glass feature was broken, doors knocked off its hinges, every metal kicked and dented. The enter of the palace smelled like very old piss and huge feet freezers, not even remotely cold now, had rows upon rows of empty shelf space. Hooks hung from the ceiling, probably where they hang cut some meat. And as I stood there, inside for a moment, I noticed they were swinging. Each hook swing in a random direction, but there's movement were so slow and so small that it was impossible to notice. I figure it had to been the cause of my footsteps, so I stopped one from swinging by clinching in my fist and carefully let it go. But within seconds, it started to swing once more. The bathrooms were much as the same state as the rest of the place were. Just the Treasure Island Resort, someone had mechanically smashed the porcelain chrome with a coconut and other implants. There was about half an inch of rancid tank segment water on the floor, so I didn't stay there very long. What's odd is that the toilets and sink and the bidets, yes, the ladies' room, I went in there as well, all dripped and leaked, or ran freely, it seemed that they should have been shut off a long time ago. There was plenty of rooms in resort, but naturally I didn't have time to look through all of them. The few I did peer into were similarly wrecked, but I didn't expect to find anything. I thought it was actually a television or radio in one room as I really think I heard a qui quiet conversation coming out. Though it was like a whisper, probably my own breathing echoing in silence or just a case of sound flowing through the waters playing tricks on my mind. It was something like. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous. I'm just telling you what I experienced. Why I thought there might have been something running in that room, or worse, some bar vigilantes, varmints, who had holed up there for probably to knife me. 